Hey everyone, Eyal here, and I wanted to go over a new feature we have in BeatScholar 1.2, which is the randomizer module. The randomizer module is triggered by this little button here at the top uh, with the dice icon, and it should help you very quickly generate new ideas and new patterns. So let's say I've got a little uh, kick and snare groove here. Let's hear it. Very simple. And let's say I want to generate some hi-hats, right? So one way is, of course, just write them manually. But I want to start you know, getting the randomizer to inspire me a little bit. So I'm going to click it, and it's going to show a bunch of different settings. But before I'm going to go into the settings, I'm going to pick one of the presets, because we have uh, randomizer presets. So for example, I'm going to pick uh, basic randomizers, basic hi-hat, and I'm just going to click the lane here. Right, so generate some random hi-hats, I can click it again and get some different results. And I can also just randomize the parts of the beat that I like, so I'm just going to uh, drag you know, my, uh, my, my mouse across the screen or just click you know, the different pizzas that I'm interested in. So that was just the basic hi-hat, but let's pick some uh, more interesting presets. So under hi-hats, we have this thing called changing speeds. Let's try that out. Right? So you can see that it generates stuff like a quintuplet, a triplet. Uh, let's pick something else. Let's pick something like the glitchy trappy hi-hats. So you can generate all kinds of ideas with this. Uh, and let's see what all the different settings do. So first of all, we have the drum selection. Uh, as you know, in Beast Scholar, uh, each lane can have multiple drums in it. So uh, in this case, it's just a closed hi-hat, but it could be uh, any selection of, uh, of drums involved in this pattern. Uh, then we have the bit slicing. So as you can see, this preset will have a two, four, six, and eight but also it will probably have something like 16 in the next page, right? So uh, let's clear everything and just say, give it, you know, four and two, right? That would just give me four and two slicing, but let's, you know, add something like a nine as an option, right? So. Cool, and uh, here, on this next little box, we have something called step triggering. So that means uh, that's actually the chance that uh, a note would occur. And it's got two important settings. One is trigger chance, which is uh, how likely is the note to happen. And the other is spacing. We'll talk about that in a second. So let's say I'm gonna have a low trigger chance. You're gonna see that uh, notes are gonna be pretty spaced out. Let's uh, remove the nine, just have eight here, just for more normalcy, I guess. Right? So these are pretty low, and if I'm going to make it higher, right, I'm going to get more notes. Great. And uh, now let's go into the spacing feature. Spacing means that the more spacing you have, the more likely the notes are to be separated from each other, right? So this is a high spacing chance. Like I can have a really high trigger chance, like a 90 or something. And let's try this, right? So, do you see that the notes happen, but they're, uh, they always have some distance from each other because spacing uh, kind of pushes for that. If I'm going to ask for low spacing and a low uh, trigger chance, right, something like that, then we will see stuff like three sixteenth notes one after another or something. Like, we'll see more chance for continuous phrases than uh, very spaced out stuff. And this becomes cool when you add something like uh, beat slicing of, I don't know, 26 or uh, 33 in the mix. And you will see that low spacing will actually create more phrases like this, where they're uh, really continuous. Right? And high spacing, right, will create phrases that are like very, very choppy, very spread apart. Uh, so spacing is very useful to create things that are more contextual. Another interesting option is the fill empty button. Fill empty means the randomizer is going to look at the existing notes and try to fill the voids between the notes that are already there. 
So let's say we're gonna turn beat slicing off just to remove some uh, weird complexity. And I'm gonna go to this line. It already has some hi-hats in it. And I'm gonna ask it to fill out the open hi-hats instead of the closed ones. So I'm just gonna click here. And you can see that it filled the voids according to whatever settings I have. So, right, so you might get more contextual uh, uh, note stillings. Uh, another interesting one is of course the velocity range. So are you gonna get uh, you know, let's say we just pick without fill empty and, you know, pick a higher range of velocities, right? So something like this or with the close high, something like this would give you, you know, a high range or maybe I want the range to be more uh, kind of min and max on the low end. So that would create softer hi-hats, right? Versus something like this to create more dynamic hi-hats. So you can select that. So the next part to talk about is the drum selection in the bottom left. Uh, since in Beat Scholar, a lane is not limited to a single drum, you can actually use that to create multi-drums uh, patterns. So for example, if I'm gonna go to uh, the presets here, and I'm gonna pick this preset called Quintuplet Linear Beat, and I'm just gonna hit that, it's gonna generate a bunch of notes within that quintuplet fill. Let's hear it. Let's try another one. Right, so you, you can use all these different modules in combination with the uh, drum selection to create really uh, unique multi-part ones. So for example, let's uh, clear this by shift and clicking. And let's do something like uh, pick a bit slicing of, you know, four and eight, maybe once in a while, and high trigger chance with uh, not so much spacing. And let's pick something like a kick, snare, and hi-hat, right? So, and uh, let's, you know, generate a few bars so that we'll get some more interesting music, right? Maybe we don't like this one, so let's regenerate it, right? Right, so this is very useful in creating linear stuff. Let's add some velocity to this so that there's a larger range of velocities. Right, and once we like our settings, right, with the right trigger chance, the right velocity range, we can also just save our own presets. So just we save a randomizer preset like, uh, uh, I don't know, linear, linear 16th note groove. Right, and uh, then we can just later reselect it whenever we want to use it. Uh, there's also a shortcut to the randomizer by clicking the slash or the uh, uh, the slash one right right by the shift on my keyboard. It will momentarily switch to the randomizer. So you know you might be writing you know your kicks and snare or whatever that you're like okay let me just randomize this as a little brush. So uh, it should be a very fluid tool that uh, you might want to use in your uh, in your composition flow. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, version 1.2, as I said, is free for all Beats Color users. So uh, try it and have fun.